Taylor Swift attended best friend Gigi Hadid's birthday party and enjoyed a girls' night out on Tuesday night, Taylor Swift and longtime friend Gigi Hadid made a rare appearance together as they left Nobu, after wrapping up Hadid's birthday party on Tuesday night, while the singer took a break from her Eras tour, singer Karma, 34, is taking a well-deserved mini-break from her Eras tour with boyfriend Travis Kelsey and now she's spending time with her pals on Tuesday night, the folklore singer. Wore a chic sleeveless black jumpsuit and matching heels. She wore her hair in a high bun and carried a small white purse. The 29-year-old model wore a short-sleeved white crop top and a mid-calf length pencil skirt for her 29th birthday. Kai's mother also wore her hair up and wore black loafers with white socks, the catwalk veteran accessorized with layered necklaces while Taylor wore her signature red lipstick, the women smiled and got into an SUV and drove away, the Grammy winner and the model have been best friends for nine years. They were first spotted together at an Oscars afterparty in 2014, since then, the two famous faces have been together for some of their biggest moments, like when Gigi's two-year-old daughter Kai was born in September 2020, and the friends shower each other with compliments, like when Taylor turned 30 and Gigi posted a tribute on Instagram. My Taylor. An old soul celebrating 30 years here, and you are phenomenal. It's rare to find someone who can be so inimitable and yet still make the heart feel at home with his innate generosity. I love you and can't wait to congratulate you, she wrote at the time, the bejeweled singer gushed about her friend when she posted her cover story for Harper's Bazaar, she is a naturally kind and inclusive person who has managed to be a power player and a tremendous businesswoman without ever compromising on that, the Shake It Off hitmaker said. Speak, and despite the five-year age difference, Gigi is still the person Taylor turns to when she needs advice, as a friend, Gigi was one of the first people I turned to for advice. She has this incredible ability to see every aspect of a situation and simplify it for you, to see the complexity of people, the bad blood singer said, Gigi's number one rule is to treat people the way she wants to be treated, to get to work on time, or early, to say hello to everyone on set, to ask how they are and to really listen. Listen to their feedback, she concluded, and Gigi revealed in a video with Nat FL that her favorite song from her friend's latest album, Midnight's is Snow on the Beach because, it reminds me of Taylor's house in Rhode Island in the winter and it makes me think of fun times, even though, you know, this could be a song about a lot of things, I like that it makes me happy. She said. Did Taylor Swift include nod to Travis Kelsey and their friendship bracelet beginnings in Fortnite music video? Taylor Swift is no stranger to Easter eggs. At this point she's practically the Easter Bunny, gifting her Swifties with an abundance of little treats with everything she does, but that means every time she turns around, the fans are analyzing every little thing to see if it means something more than what's on the surface, so we ask you, Swifties, does the closing scene in the Fortnite video between Swift and Post Malone mean something? When Swift is sitting atop the phone booth in the rain and reaching for Post Malone's hand, just before the video fades out, it zooms in on the singer's wrist. Where she's wearing her The Tortured Poets Department merch bracelet, the average fan may think nothing of this, Swifties, however, think this could be a subtle nod to the Grammy winner's boyfriend, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, who wears a gold bracelet that bears a striking resemblance to the merch bracelet. Though his is sadly not a The Tortured Poets Department bracelet, one fan on X wrote, I still say the brilliance of the telephone to symbolize the cell phone number he put on the friendship bracelet and zooming in on a bracelet that looks like Travis is fantastic. It's also the one she gift boxed, another fan wrote that the imagery appears to be, her new love reaching out to her, and the bracelet signifies that it's Kelsey. And when some people tried to act like the scene meant nothing, others came after them, pointing out that the scene meant absolutely everything. Because not only could the bracelet be a nod to Kelsey, but the phone booth could actually be a huge signifier of him starting their whole fairy tale by putting his phone number on a bracelet to get her attention. Lest we forget, another fan would like to remind everyone that Post Malone has a Kelsey tattoo, which could be yet another little Easter egg in this ending sequence imagery that the creative genius that is Taylor Swift put together to subtly nod to her boyfriend. Swift has been stuck in her little love bubble with Kelsey lately, 
and she also shared plenty of sweet nods to him in her Fortnite promo video on YouTube Shorts. Not only did she include a cute clip of Kelsey kissing her cheek, she also showed off her baking skills with a tray of cinnamon rolls that former NFL star Bernie Kosar previously revealed the singer had shared with Kelsey on game day, she also played pickleball with a Chiefs paddle and included a blink and you'll miss it glimpse at her time in Singapore during the era's tour with Kelsey by her side. Travis Kelsey plans to take his Kelsey Jam Festival on huge $15 million nationwide tour to eight cities with Taylor Swift's help, the NFL superstar is gearing up to host his second Kelsey Jam, a music festival slated for May 18 in Kansas City, but is already eyeing huge expansion plans. Nat FL has spoken to a source close to the Kansas City Chiefs hero who says Travis is planning a nationwide tour of the event, taking in stops in Indianapolis, Chicago, New Orleans, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Cleveland, and Miami next year, a budget of $15 million has been agreed, with the likes of Lil Wayne, Diplo, and 2 Chains all performing for a whopping 20,000 fans at the Azra Amphitheater, with more acts set to be confirmed. And that, according to The Insider, is where Taylor Swift comes in, the cruel summer singer's expertise will be vital and, of course, she would also boost any event by showing her face and joining the party, she is performing in Sweden on the same night as Kelsey Jam in Kansas as her sellout era's tour rocks Europe, but Taylor is planning to help her boyfriend, on and off stage, Taylor knows how to run a show, deal with tours and some of her people are helping his team build a very solid, Plan and create the best festivals, the source confirmed to Nat FL, she would show up at some of the dates, for sure, the inaugural Kelsey Jam last year saw headline performances by Machine Gun Kelly. Rick Ross, Tech 9 and Loud Luxury in the same venue, Travis hopes to stage up to 8 events in 2025 and will be boosted by seeing next month's show almost sold out, sponsors, as revealed by Nat FL are keen to invest in both the Kelsey brothers' endeavors, with large brands talking about lending their names to the smash hit New Heights podcast, snack company Takis is helping fund a full live stream of the event, while whiskey retailer Jim Beam is on hand to supply refreshments for thirsty revelers. And talks are ongoing with a growing number of reputable companies interested in Kelsey Jam, the insider says some are already on board, with cash injections ranging between $3 million to $4.5 million on the horizon, there have been a lot of meetings and great offers from brands, and many venues in those cities are interested in having the Kelsey Jam coming to their city, he added. Travis is keen to land a third successive Super Bowl ring when the NFL returns later this year, but the 34-year-old already is seriously eyeing the next stage of his career. Nat FL understands Hollywood bosses are keen for the brothers to appear in a blockbuster action movie. With the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger appearing on his podcast recently, Travis has one eye on establishing himself in the show business world, Travis wants to be a heavyweight in the music and entertainment industries, said the insider, Taylor's expertise, together with the sponsors, can certainly make that happen.